Hello and welcome back. It's the, again, getting near the end of the year. We're into December now. Uh, all the sh bike shows have been on, Eichma, Motorcycle Live, and today I thought I'd bring you into my own little motorcycle show in my garage. At the bike shows, there's been all the latest developments from like Honda, the new Hornet, the new Transalp, the new Royal Enfield. Uh, Super Meteor and all the other exotic machines. Uh, but today, we're going to show you some more exotica that's arrived in the garage. So, without further ado, we'll take the, peel the covers off and we'll see what's hiding underneath. And what do we find lurking under the cover? None other than a brand new Triumph Tiger 900 GT Pro. Yes, you may be wondering what happened to the mighty Honda. Well, I'm afraid the Honda has gone. It's been sold. Uh, this bike's been on order for the last six months. It's been a long time in coming. Uh, but she's finally here, arrived just in time for winter and just in time for horrible roads and not really been able to get out and use it. Never mind. Um, why did I buy it? Well, in many ways, you buy bikes, either with your head or with your heart. With the Honda, um, I bought it after my last Tiger 800, and I bought that bike with my head. It was a super bike, ultra reliable, uh, very economical. Fuel consumption was fantastic on it, I have to say, absolutely brilliant. Uh, such an easy bike to, to maintain and look after, because I quite like looking after my own bike, so it's that was really simple. Uh, practical, the frunk and everything. It was such a practical bike. It was brilliant. Great bike. You can't fault it. But it wasn't exciting. Uh, when I bought my wee Enfield, I mean, I bought that with, with this wee bike with, I bought it with my heart. It's a, and it still endears me. It's a fabulous wee bike to ride. Um, recently, I took a wee kind of rush to my head when I saw this. The, the Bonneville, and again, this was a purchase with my heart and not my head. And the same with the Tiger. I've kind of missed my last Tiger and how capable it was. So this definitely is a purchase with my heart, with an element of my head as well, because it is one superb machine. It's top of the range GT Pro. It has... Fabulous Marzocchi suspension with uh, preload and rebound adjustment on the front and electronic uh, adjustable suspension on the back, which for rebound and preload. Uh, has a quick shifter, uh, cruise control, lovely heated seats, they are superb. Heated grips, the TFT screen, that is superb. I just love that one, that is beautiful to use. Uh, yeah. Well, this is one fantastic machine. I fitted a couple of wee parts to it um, just now. It's not quite standard. I put a GV top plate on. This one actually came off my original Triumph Tiger, actually. And it was on, also on the Honda. So with some new mounting brackets, it's now found a place on the Tiger 900, which is great for my top box. I fitted some engine bars on here as well, which is good. Partly because to look after the engine and also when I'm doing some filming, which will be coming up, I can mount a, a wee uh, drift camera down here, which is, I love getting the wee action shots of the front wheel and the front suspension working. So that's really one of the reasons I put the engine bars on. So that might feature in the future. And I've also put on a wee GV tank ring for a tiny uh, tank bag that I've got for all the wee odds and sods that you might want to use 
on a maybe a longer touring ride. Anyway, I won't go talk too much about it. Having waited for six months to take delivery of this bike, I've collected a few wee bits and pieces to make it my own, which in the next few videos that come up, probably they won't be on until after the new year now because it's kind of getting into Christmas and the festive period. But you will see a few quite tasteful additions being added to it trying to basically make the bike mine and to make it fit into exactly what I want this bike for, which was more uh, long distance touring, uh, camping weekends, all sorts of stuff like that. It's just such a all round capable machine. It's not quite ICMA, it's not quite Motorcycle Live, but to me, it's a really exciting development. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you have, Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon and you'll be told of any future uploads that I put on the channel. I try and put one up every week if possible. Uh, it's not quite so easy in the winter when you're quite curtailed in the riding that you can do. But for now, take care, ride safe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.